So we are here today uh, with uh, Eyal to speak about thrash metal. Yeah, and uh, uh, like, like I said before, we are religious Jews, Orthodox Jews from Israel, from Jerusalem. That we we are metalheads for some okay. years. I said before that I'm like uh, 20 years uh, uh, until now metalhead. How how many years you are a metalhead? Wow. So let's say about uh, since I was about uh, a metalhead, maybe about 14. So 30, 35 years. Okay, 35 years and okay. I'm something like uh, 22 years. And I started when I was 70 years old. And we are from different different uh, areas in the world. I am from Greece, from Athens, and you are from? I'm from Canada, Vancouver, BC. Okay. So, and... Uh, we uh, both live in Israel now. Like yeah, well, yeah, yeah. Both in Israel, in our Jewish homeland. Both religious Jews. Jews, yeah. <laughs> And we are metalheads, metalheads, uh, with special, and we listen everything about metal. Uh, not only one genre. Uh, we, I prefer most speed thrust and uh, a little bit black, death. But uh, everything it's okay. it's okay. Epic metal. Uh, everything it's okay when it's a good metal. And inside every genre, you can find uh, bands that are awesome and bands that are not so. Good, but uh, it depends about also the personal taste of uh, of, of, of everyone. Now, uh, today we will speak a little bit about thrash metal. Uh, first of all, and thrash metal, uh, how it is started. People they are thinking that Metallica and their album Kill 'Em All is the first thrash album. For this reason, there are people that are saying that there was a band from Canada. Not exactly in these days thrash metal but uh, very close to it, the band Exciter. And I think that their first album, Heavy Metal Maniac, uh, it, uh, it was released a little bit before Kill Em All of Metallica. Mm. So... The question, and, the question is, do we go according to when the album was released or according to... Uh, uh, how long the band has been together and played because you know you, you can have a band that hasn't put out an album yet but people know them in the in the scene and uh, they've been playing for a long time and then and then you have a band that, that that comes out a while later and puts out an album and you know so uh, it's kind of uh, something in the middle that? yeah i think also that uh, metallica of course uh, in their first albums until uh, master of puppets uh, for me the real, real thrust album of Metallica is the first album, Kill Em All. Afterwards, a little bit uh, started to be uh, to be a more metal, heavy metal. Ride the Lightning, okay, it's okay. It has its uh, thrust points. Master of Puppets, even less in in my in my point of view. Uh, and Justice for All is also a very good heavy metal album. And afterwards, everyone everyone agrees that. Um, Afterwards, after the Black Album, and it's not exactly the thrust sound. Even that in these days, their uh, their last albums, their two last albums, Death Magnetic and um, the last album, is also a little bit thrusty, but it's not exactly the thrust metal that we know. Uh, for me, if if I were be, if I were speaking about the influence. The uh, the album and the and the band that is more is most most important in thrust metal scheme for me is Exodus and their first album Bodied by Blood. Mm -hmm. Interesting. And let's let's make a, a blessing. Amen. And what would you call uh Albums like uh, the Black Album and uh, what would you say that? What, like the, the, similar albums, what would you what would you call that? And what genre would you put? Would you put it under metal? Under metal, of course, but not exactly not, not thrust metal in any case or speed metal in any case. Ah, another thing also, uh, the whole thing about speed metal in these years, in the beginning of thrust metal, speed and thrust, they are. There were two different kinds. 
of, of metal, not exactly the same genre. For example, people are, until now, they can, don't say, it's difficult for them to come and, say, to, and, and, and uh, speak and say, what is exactly speed metal? For example, we can say that also the first album of Halloween, the forefathers of the power metal, Wars of Jericho, for example, is a speed metal album and not exactly power metal. Mm -hmm. And what would you say that the distinction between uh, a thrash and speed metal is? What makes one thrash metal and one speed metal? Yeah, you know, this is a very big and difficult question. The answer is not exactly one. I think that speed metal is a little bit more melodic than the thrust metal. Uh, and is in, uh, in the middle between the power and the thrust. Uh, let's say a good example, people they think that Angel Steel, for example, they're a, a good example of uh, speed metal. But I will say another band also from Germany, Risk. Risk, they're not so famous, but their, their albums are the epitome, for me, of what is called speed metal. You can listen there also Halloween of the first period, and also things that are even more uh, to the German thrash uh, genre, like creator, like destruction, even more destruction. Something else is... Uh, and if we are speaking about thrust, thrust is the is a raw, it's very raw, it's very than uh, than the than the speed metal. Mm. Interesting. And um, uh, I noticed you're wearing an unleashed. Uh, I, I, it's amazing uh, uh, that uh, I didn't know about them <laughs> until until you 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 listened. You played it for me, and I realized that I actually did have one of their albums. The when first I was album, growing, yeah. the first album when I was growing up, and uh, it brought back memories. Of course, I'm wearing a, I'm wearing a, you know, a Slayer. Everyone knows this. Rain, rain, rain and blood. And I remember we had a discussion about this. Um, of course, we put Slayer under the thrash category. Of course. Uh, I still have. Um, uh, maybe a lot of people will disagree with me on this, but I believe that. They have a, an, uh, an influence somewhat in the death metal or maybe into something in that area. And maybe satanic, something in that area that takes them out a little bit from, th from thrash. Uh, I disagree in which point of view. Uh, uh, why? First of all, I think that uh, Slayer, uh, before I said for me that uh, the, the first album of Exodus is the most is the most influenced uh, thrash uh, album uh, but like a band I think the Slayer are in the top of all because um, from the beginning okay so no mercy is not exactly so thrash it's even even heavy 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 metal very influenced from the new wave of British heavy metal but also is, is uh, in the middle of thrust and, uh, and, uh, and heavy metal. But afterwards, Hell Awaits, Rainy Blood, and uh, Seasons in the Abyss, can, you know, South, uh, South of Heaven, Seasons in the Abyss, uh, very, very, very good thrust albums. But they were all talking about Satan. Uh, yeah, but you know, uh, if we're speaking about ideology or about lyrics, uh, you can find... Uh, the whole thing of uh, of uh, fake satanism, let's say, okay, and commercial satanism, in many kinds of uh, of metal, not sure. only not only even Motley Crue, mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> in That's the beginning, right. they had uh, also satanic uh, images uh, in their albums of, of, from the outside. Okay, yes. but it's, uh, we can't understand it's, uh, everything is fake there. Uh, okay, but generally, I agree that thrust metal influenced the death metal like the death metal afterwards gave it, it its influence to the black metal yes very good so you see there are bands that you are sort of caught in between you know the cotton between the the watershed 
of genres in in metal music yeah of course mm-hmm. yeah. there's nothing in this world that is uh, new and um like uh, a vision birth right original completely yeah yes. every everyone takes things from someone else before him very good the way is that, that, that he makes that very good if it makes that good it's it's okay but it makes that not so good it's not so okay this is the whole thing here very nice very very good so from israel from jerusalem stay heavy and stay metal <laughs>